All right. Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory is always being to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah Bahashim Rakaha Kwadash, which is the one true name for the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of His Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. Those be the only names in which salvation may be obtained, whether you are able to receive that or not. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone, who through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shim Yahushai, rule all of the nation of Israel while today once again, whether you've been given the spirit to receive that or not. And peace, love, blessing, salutations be unto the elect of the nation of Israel, begin with the hundred and forty and four thousand prophets, all the way down to the remaining elect, whithersoever they be, man. Those who are prophesied, you see, to get back in the good graces of the Heavenly Father before this time of grace closes, man. You see? And what is grace? Grace is a period of time in which you have to get right, man, to correct a debt. You see? Like the scriptures say, man, we are debtors. We've entered into this grace through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai because we broke that first covenant. So that therefore grace was brought to us and the elect will repent and get right and be protected, have a spiritual hedge around them at the coming of our enemy, man. You see, as the scriptures say, your enemy comes in as a flood. All right, we're getting ready to face a lot of hell as a people, man. You see, but the elect, man, are going to be taken care of. You see, and that's why I played this video. And, you know, I'll put the link in the description box, Lord willing, man. But, you know, you see how, uh, uh, you know, this, 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 and, you know, Esau has to put Eve up in there. But you see how she was protected the entire time, man. It's lucky, man. Like I said, the elect will be taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and grab this precept. This is Jeremiah 17. And uh, let's see, verse, uh, verse 8. And it reads, I'll go ahead and start at uh, verse 7. It's lucky. It says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh. You see that, man? She's going to be protected. She's going to be well nourished, man. You see? As the scriptures say, what do you have? What shall I say, man? He that believeth on me out of his belly shall flow forth rivers of living water, man. You see a tree that's planted right by a river, they're going to have that continual source of life, man. It don't matter if it rains or doesn't rain, because they're going to continually have that river flowing on by, man. You see, we have that life within us, man. The light has been brought to us, and as the scriptures say, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. We know and understand everything that Esau is getting ready to do, man. We have the examples all throughout the history of our people on how to endure. You see the other things that we have faced in the past against these heathen nations, man. And we have the examples of those that endure and are delivered. Let's go ahead and continue. It says, But her leaf shall be green and shall not be careful in the year of drought. You see that, man? Shall not be careful in the year of drought, meaning you're going to be protected, man. You see, yeah, you're going to be tried. All of us are going to be tried to the furthest ex extent of our faith, man. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble and the hour of temptation. You see, we are all going to be tempted and tried to bow the knee over unto Esau, man. How is he going to solidify that within you? By causing you to take this MOB, the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, man. You see, just like King Nebuchadnezzar had all people bowing to him. You see, Esau is trying to do the same thing, man. Esau is trying to be the most high. And we saw how Nebuchadnezzar got humbled, man. Esau's about to get humbled on a whole nother level, man. You see? And we know and understand it, man. We know to fear the creator rather than the creation, man. So therefore, we know we're going to prevail, man. We're going to be taken care of, man. And we truly have faith within that. Just like you saw the video, you know, she knew, she knew that she had the luck, so to speak, man. She walked in there, not a care in the world. Just moving and doing what she had to do. You see, we have a job to do, man. We have a job to do. And, and, and that's why it was told to the disciples of Yahweh Shai. 
what? Let's go ahead and grab it. Finishing it off, it says, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. So, hey, we're going to continue, man. We are going to continue to grow. And at the coming of our king, we're only going to be made incorruptible and perfect, man. You see? Return to that godly state. You see? Yielding the fruit from the tree of immortality, man. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, jump to this other precept here, man. This is the book of Luke, chapter 9, and uh, verse 2. It says, And he sent them to preach the kingdom of the heavenly Father, and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey. You see? Why did he tell them to take nothing, man? Because the Most High will have them taken care of, man. Just like the Most High will have us taken care of. You see, it says, Neither staves, nor script, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. You see that, man? Neither have two coats apiece, man. Just take, just take the garment you're wearing. You see? Going on, it says, And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when ye go out of that city, shake off the dust from your very feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. So to bring forth the, 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 the miracles and the power and ultimately the gospel of the heavenly father to the children of Israel, man. You see? You see? Which consists of what, man? We have a Messiah who came to bring salvation to Israel and deliver us from these wicked, cruel enemies, man. The scriptures tell you that this is the base of man. He enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, man. He is the cruel one. And if you are given over into his hand, he is going to not have mercy, man. Just like King David, what did he say when he was, uh, 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 you know, presented the choice all right, of choosing to be judged by the Heavenly Father by pestilence or by uh, uh, the heathen nations. You see, he said, I, I would rather be uh, 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 chastised by you because the heathen will not have mercy, man. You see, Esau is the, look at all the works Esau has done to the planet Earth, man. You see, you are going to be go, given over into this guy's hand if you do not have this hedge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai set up around you, man. You see, and just like we saw, just like we have the same job to do today, man. You see, these men had no choice but to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. We have no choice but to trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Moving on pure faith. Let's go ahead and grab another precept. This is uh, <clears throat> the book of Matthew, chapter 5. So really, man, the moral of this lesson is to, to, to not worry, man. As the scripture, as the scriptures say, man, the truth shall set you free. You see, all these people in the world have all these worries and things of that nature all around them, and and oh man, what am I gonna do in the day of judgment? Let's, hey, if you ain't in the truth, man, you better be setting up a bunker. You better be setting up all kind of food. And guess what? Even that ain't gonna save you, man, because we have the playbook right here, man. The playbook tell us how the plays are gonna be, and it tells us. Who's going to win uh, the game, so to speak, man? You see? And we know and understand our king is going to win, man. That's why he's the king of kings and lord of lords. You see? We will overcome as long as we endure, man. We have nothing to be afraid of, man. We do not need to fear Esau or nothing of Esau because we have the creator of all energy in our corner, man. <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter 5 and uh, <clears throat> let's see verse it's lucky let me grab a, Matthew 6 is what I meant to grab I believe yep Matthew 6 this is Matthew 6 and verse 24 it reads no man can serve two masters 
for either he will hate the one and love the other. You see, no man can serve two masters, man. You're going to have to make a choice who you are a servant of. Are you a servant of Yahweh by Shem Shai? If you are, then this means that you would have given up this world, given up your life within this world. As the scriptures say, he that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my name's sake shall gain a, a hundredfold, man. You see? You had to give up your life in this world because this world is wicked, man. We're investing in one to come. We're investing in our kingdom. We're investing in our godly state, man, our heritage, our rule on the kingdom of the planet Earth, man. You see? But what were we taught and bred up to do? To follow after and to serve Esau, man. To give yourself all totally and utterly over unto Esau. Investing everything you got, your time, flesh, energy, and life into him and his kingdom, man. You see? You got to make a choice, man. You either for, for the most high or you for the world. Point blank, period. And that's and Esau is going to make you make that choice, man. Because what's he going to do? Present you with this RFID microchip. You're either going to survive amongst Esau. Or you're going to choose death in this world. To be to be to prove yourself faithful into Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You see. So truly faith is going to be your motivator, man. Faith is going to be what keeps you from from taking that ultimate knee. By taking that RFID microchip, man. You see what's going on? It says, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. You see, take no thought. And you saw the, 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 the video uh, uh, of that woman running through there, man. She didn't take no thought of her life. She knew, hey, look, I got, I'm lucky. You see? Now, we know and understand that we got our power in our corner, man. This don't mean that you go doing stupid, you know, <laughs> just pointless, brainless uh, uh, decisions. You see? We got our king in our corner because we are continuously serving him, man. Presenting your body a living sacrifice as you are, uh, are told to do. So as long as we continue and do what we got to do, then we will, we will have our protection, man. You see? Going on, it says, or what ye shall drink. So you don't even, you don't even got to worry about what you got to eat, what you got to drink, nor yet for your body. What ye shall put on is not for the life more than the meat and the body than raiment. Behold the birds of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Are ye not much more better than they? So the Most High keeps the birds fed, man. Keeps the birds well nourished. So how much more are we going to be protected, man? You think about Elisha or Elijah and how he was fed by ravens during the time of the famine, man. Or 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 you had the time of the uh, 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 famine, and uh, I believe that may have also been Elijah with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, the woman. Who, you know, I, I believe it was one, you know, a little bit of some oil. They continuously were able to make cakes all throughout the famine to have food, man. One of the brothers brought up the other day, the pigeon. The pigeon is lawful for us to consume, man. You see? And pigeons are everywhere throughout these cities, man. So you might be going through and, you know, going through the uh, being tried. You see, overcome through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and then all of a sudden, you get a whole flock of pigeons roll up. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, the Most High is going to protect us. Just like you saw in the video, you know, the, she, she was running through everywhere, you know, and just every move she made just happened to work out in her favor, man. We have all these angels around us, man. Just like, just like uh, uh, Alicia prayed unto the Most High to open the eyes up of his servant, and he was able to see all these chariots watching them, man. We have chariots over us, man. And these chariots, hey, just like it says, the, the Most High's eyes are a thousand times brighter than the sun, man. We are being watched, brothers. 
and we will be protected, man. <clears throat> Going on, it says, Are ye not much better than they, which for you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? And why take ye thought of raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. So the flower was arrayed with all this, all this beauty, man. You see? And the flower doesn't even go and, you know, have to work and, you know, make itself look this particular way, man. All it has to do is sit there and soak up the sun and the water. Now, that's similar unto us, man. What do we got? We don't got to go, you know, design no blueprints, how we're going to take Esau down in the flesh. We don't need to go and, you know, design. Man, all we got to do is endure, man. We got to endure and prove our faith by our works, man. Continue pushing till our king comes that we might find favor in his sight and be protected, man. As the scriptures say, what, 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 I kill and I make alive, man. I wound and I heal. So therefore, if the power that kills and makes alive is in your corner, then you're going to be moving just like this uh, uh, person here, man. You see? But if the power that kills and, and makes alive is against you, then everything you're doing is leading up to your destruction, man. You see, Esau really thinks he's making moves to try to fight the Most High. You're just making moves to fulfill prophecy, man. You see, going on, it says, <clears throat> uh, verse 4 was that, man? Verse 30, it says, Wherefore, if God so clothe you, so clothe the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? So, you know, this, 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 this grass and this, you know, the, the, the flowers, which, you know, they're only up for a season, man. And then they wither away. How much more is the Most High going to protect you Israelites? And not only you Israelites, man. Or uh, uh, I won't even say, you know, you Israel, but how, how much is he going to watch over you Israelites? But how much is he going to protect you elect of Israel, man? Those who are written in the foundation of the earth, man, in the book of life. You see? The Most High put, had, had Yahweh Shai's blood spilt for you, man. Yahweh Shai took that sacrifice on for you. Look at that, man. The Most High's mercies are beautiful, especially compared to what we deserve, man. Because we're deserving just to be cast off, man. Extinct, exterminated. But the Heavenly Father... Is not a man that he should lie. He's going to fulfill his promise, man. He's going to seal his covenant through the elect, man. And cause life to be restored and order on the planet Earth. You see? But salvation begins with you repenting, man. Our godly state, immortality, begins with your repentance. You see? And all of that begins by having faith, man taking heed, understanding the fear of the Most High, and having faith within all of these prophecies and everything that we were told, man. You see, all these men, King David who stood up against Goliath, man, Radshak, Neshach, and Abednego, Daniel and the Lion's Den, the Maccabee brothers, man, all stood up knowing that they were going to be protected, man, believing that they would be protected, Choosing to suffer for the Most High rather than to, to rejoice with the heathen, man. You see, verse 31, it says, Therefore, take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? You don't got to worry about what you, what you need to be eating, man. Or what shall we drink? You see all these different bunkers and stuff that Esau got set up. All these different houses with stocked foods, all these different, uh, uh, you know, and, and you know, and I, I, I work, you know, I, I'm a builder, man. 
You know, I'm an electrician, so I've done a lot of jobs where, you know, Esau has these whole hidden rooms, man. Food. Even liquor. Water. Now, how often are you just chilling at home? How many people just are at home 24-7, man? You see, when shit pops off, man, the most highs, he, he, has, he has some nice, bountiful spots set up for us. Those ain't going to be preserved for Esau. You see? Just like it said, what? Take no thought what ye shall eat, man. Esau should be taking thought what he shall eat. Because as we go on, what does it say? Or what ye shall drink or whither shall we be clothed for? All After all these things do the Gentiles seek. Because they have no power over them that's going to provide them with these things, man. The Most High has given us all these things. Even when we're in that state uh, 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 of King Solomon's kingdom, you see that kingdom that was a foreshadowment of things to come. You see what happened, man? We begin to, to, to discredit all these things we were given of the Most High. We begin to discredit the Most High for him, man, and begin to, 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 to grow in pride. Oh, we've obtained these things. We've done this. So what the Most High do? Gave us into the hand of the Gentiles, and now here we are, man, totally and utterly destroyed. But now the elect of us are returning, man, understanding where our strength and our power comes from once again, man. You see? We're going to overcome and rule this planet by the power of the Heavenly Father and our King, Yahweh Shai, man. You see? All the prophecies tell you, man, that the, that the Messiah is going to come back and restore his people and establish order on the planet Earth. This is what's going to cause the wicked to cease from reigning. So since there is not peace on the planet Earth, since the order of the Most High is not established on the planet Earth, then this tells you that the wicked are in rulership, man. Esau is in power and he is about to get conquered, man. So if you're investing anything within this world, it's going to be destroyed, man. Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom. Seek the kingdom first. And as time goes on, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. You see, as time goes on, all these things are going to be added to you, man. You're going to receive the things that you need, man. You see, it's really like, <laughs> you know, in the world, you learn to, you know, serve Esau, and then you're going to get, you know, you're going to get the things you need. You're going to get paid. You're going to be able to buy your food, your whatever the case may be. We know to serve the Most High. Because then everything's going to fulfill the way it needs to be. Things at your job are going to go okay. You see things, and of course you're going to get chastised from time to time. When you're going off, the Most High is going to correct you, man. Because he deal, he's dealing with you as a child. Now when you get corrected, you learn something from it. And you repent and you try to get better, man. We're not going to be perfect. But we are certainly going to strive for perfection, man. Being separate of the world. You see? repenting man not justifying these wicked deeds of the flesh looking forward to being freed from this flesh and be a hundred percent righteousness and incorruptible man when these laws are written within our heart and within our mind at the coming of our king pursuing the hebrews 8 and 8 on down jeremiah 31 and 30 on down going on it says and all these things shall be added unto you take therefore no thought of the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. So, you know, over here worrying and, oh, man, am I going to have enough for the day here? Am I going to have enough for the day? Am I going to have enough for the day of Jacob's trouble, man? Hey, you'd have to be a dummy not to have a couple things, man. You know, I, you know, I might have a couple of waters, you know, a little bit of some food, but we ain't banking on that, man. We are banking on you. How about Shimia Shai? being our salvation, man. That's why Yahweh Shai's name means he saves. He is our savior, and he is through whom we will receive salvation, man. <clears throat> this is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, and verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, forgiveth 
sins and saveth in time of affliction. You see that, man? So, hey, we got all these examples of the mercies of the Most High, man. You see, and therefore this gives us faith to, to, to follow the Most High unto the point of death, man. You see? This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 37, and it reads, uh, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Hamashayak Yahawashai, our Lord. You see, Esau can't do a damn thing, man. Just like Yahawashai told to Pontius Pilate, what did he say? That you, you can't do anything except for it's been given unto you by the Heavenly Father, man. He does not, Esau does not have the power to kill and make alive, man. That is the power of the Most High. You might think Esau has the power to kill, but that's not even in his, in his hands, man. The Most High will put it in his hands to pour that judgment out upon whoever was written to receive it, man. So therefore, knowing and understanding the great power of the Most High, the elect are returning to be void from that great judgment, man. To be on the right side of that power rather than on the left side. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakak, Wadash. Double honors unto the elders and the apostles, and peace, love, blessing, salutations unto the elect. Shalom.